uh, there's a few new effect filters. Uh, one of which is scatter. And scatter is basically, it kind of looks like the debris simulation, but scatter is essentially just scattering everything across the a certain model across the terrain there it's not going to be affected by the terrain's shape itself which is essentially what the simulation layer is going to be doing so with scatter you can essentially have um if i go down here yes shape maybe i want it to be a sphere and or maybe i want it to be a series of plates you can have it super jagged maybe we'll just lower the strength um, grid scale here is going to be the overall scale of all the items. So if I were to increase this grid scale, you can see it's distributing that based off, you know, it's adding more um, elements per grid. And this isn't the same grid, but imagine, imagine this grid that I just put in here with the uh, show grid button. Imagine the grid scale just being that. So you're adding more scattered elements per one of these um, quadrants. All right, we take that off. So say we want these to be super tiny. I'm going to go back to simple here. Let's, yeah, let's just increase that just a little bit more. Um, there are several settings here that you can adjust. Again, if we hit the uh, info icon for this particular one, so for, yeah, the effect scatter, here's all of the different pieces right here where it says parameters it corresponds to all of these right here. So maybe I want to increase the amplitude effect, which is going to change the profile on how these are distributed. Height's a really good one. Say you want these to be very, very jagged. Increase this height and you can see it is really going to punch through everything. Uh, it's probably a bit much, or you can have it to be super subtle. But again, these aren't going to be distributed on the terrain based off the terrain's shape or an erosion like the simulation layer is going to be doing. However, we can say, let's scatter these based off uh, cavity. So if we were to choose effect scatter, see the heat map, choose cavity. Let's say that our step size is pretty large. Let's see, lower the threshold and increase the strength. So our scatter is seemingly going to populate everywhere where it's red. And you can see that here. I'm gonna go back to the scatter function. Let's increase the height just so that we can see a little bit more. All right, perfect. Also, and you can see it's only distributing based off of these uh, red areas. Also, it is spawning everything based off layer seven. If you want all of these to globally have their scale of this shape to be a little smaller, just spawn it on a smaller uh, or on a higher layer. Ooh, maybe that's not what this is. Let's let's see. Layers allows you to add multiple grid layers, essentially increasing the density of the splats. So that what that sounds like is, so layers one, it's only spawning one round of that scatter on a large resolution scale. Two rounds, three rounds of scatter, four, five. We can add multiple rounds of a scatter here. So that's what that is. These level steps is probably the same thing. Say we don't want it to scatter. Yeah, that's what this is. So say we only want this rock to scatter on level step seven. And it's not doing much there. There we go. We can see a little bit. So eight, nine. So up to about nine. Let's add just a little bit more there. And then we can sort of control, manually control that fall off. Or maybe we want to invert the effects. This is a really cool function. I love that we can sort of use the scatter filter to stamp in the terrain as opposed to um, in, you know, increasing the terrain's height where, the, where those stamp uh, pieces are. This is kind of, I actually kind of like this a lot better, to be honest. Um, also, you're not limited to the shapes that are right here. This outcrops is kind of an interesting one. Um, you can bring in your own. So custom. 
we're going to add, open up a second instance of World Creator here real quick. Going to add a sculpt layer and I'm only adding this sculpt layer at the base just so I flatten the terrain. Let's add another shape layer and this time let's add, let's add a primitive layer here. Let's say we want it to be a star. Let's say we want this star to have seven corners. Do something like that. And then under filters, uh, who, who knows? Let's just, uh, let's do that. Of course, that's gonna add a little bit around to the edge. Let's see, zero blend I'm just trying to uh, round off the edge just a little bit this is gonna be a very wild shape <laughs> so I apologize all right we're just gonna roll with this I'm going to export the height map of this let's just make it um, it doesn't have to be anything crazy uh, while we're here this is really neat. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but I kind of need to do this to showcase the uh, um, the function here. So we're gonna have it as a single channel, auto normalization on. All right, so remember how before, anytime you wanted to export anything, it would always go to your My Documents folder, same location where the presets are, but there was an export folder within that um, folder. Under the export preset piece, sorry, under export, the main export, you can see here we have use custom export folder. I'm gonna use that. And I've already established where I want that to be. I think, nope, I did not. So we will, I am just searching off to the side where I want this to be. 3D projects, world creator projects and export dump. So I've, seem, I've seemingly just made real creator projects, export dump. So now under height map, let's just export this. And I don't want this to be, what size is this? This is 1K. Maybe I don't want a 1K image. Maybe I want it to be a little smaller. So let's resample this down to 256. So it's basically going to export the full resolution and then downsample it down to a resolution of 256 by 256 instead of uh, 1K. So we're gonna export this, generating the export. It takes a minute for it to resample things. There it goes. So now we can lower this. Now if I want to add a shape, Let's go back to 3D projects, export dump. Here is that height map that I just created and you can see the dimension is 2056 by 2056. Open and look at all of the uh, um, scatter items. Did I distribute this based off? Uh... Oh, it's just, it's okay. It's this uh, Rocky Heart here. Let's, uh, let's turn off all of these colors just for now. Perfect. All right, so that uh, scatter, I used a custom shape. Maybe I don't want this height to be this much, but say we uh, we had this stamp and also say we had a color. We want this color to be uh, super purple and we want um, the scatter filter to affect that purple. So now we have all of those scatter functions set to purple. All right, new project.